Dear learners, I welcome you to this uh, second module for uh, in situ zymography, which is in continuation with the previous lecture, which uh, was focused upon the in gel zymography. Uh, as we have already understood that in gel zymography was basically targeted for detection of enzymes, hydrolytic enzymes from microbial sources and it was a technique which was based upon polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Uh, the in situ zymography is a technique which is focused for detection of uh, presence of enzymes in histological sections and uh, basically for localization of hydrolytic enzymes inside the tissues. So the main intention of in situ zymography is in histology or histological sections where we want to detect the enzyme activity. Uh, in situ zymography is uh, a very simple technique where we take a frozen histological sample. Say for example this is your histological sample. So in the first step it must be frozen. And after freezing, you take a glass slide, okay. This glass slide is coated with the labeled matrix protein. Now matrix protein is actually the substrate for the enzyme which we want to detect. So the glass slide is coated with the substrate, uh, we can say it in that manner. And this is the histological sample, uh, frozen sample which is kept over the coated slide and the uh, system is incubated uh, to allow the enzyme to work upon the coated substrate. Okay. After incubation, uh, the observation is uh, black spots are observed. wherever there is presence of let us first coat it with the basic matrix protein so this was originally the slide okay and the black spots which appear like this they are the examples where uh, the enzyme has shown its activity and these are the spots where the MMP protein protein's activity has been detected. So this is a simple technique for localization of activity in the tissues and uh, this technique is called as in situ zymography. Right? Now let us understand the alternative approach. The alternative approach is um, instead of uh, taking the frozen sample and placing it on a coated slide, the frozen sample is directly incubated okay, inside a matrix protein plus fluorescein okay uh, so it is incubated the frozen sections are actually incubated with the substrate itself which is labeled or tagged with the fluorescein right so now this uh, uh, matrix protein which is tagged with fluorescein um, the tissue gets time to uh, in incubation so that the enzyme can show its activity upon the substrate and uh, when you take out the sample you will see uh, this is the tissue okay which has shown its activity and the tissue will show the hydrolysis of the substrate at the points where the enzyme had its activity uh, let us show it with the yellow color Sorry. 
so say for example you have uh, received the fluorescent spots like this in the tissue it indicates that at that particular point the enzyme which we are trying to detect is localized in the tissue so this is an alternative approach where we are allowing the tissues to react with the substrate which is labeled uh, for some time and the hydrolysis of the substrate is then indicated by the fluorescence of the uh, dye okay uh, now this technique is uh, actually uh, can be complemented uh, in immunology and uh, this uh, technique in immunology will help in localization of various type of cell markers which are very very important in immunology it will help in detection of various proteins where they are present and their activity and their localization can be detected and this field is uh, called as use of in situ zymography in the field of immunohistochemistry other modifications of the technique is uh, if the technique is used with cell cultures like uh, if the, uh, uh, this zymography is used with uh, live cell cultures it will help us to know the activity within the cell within the living cell as in previous case it helped to new in tissues uh, in this case it will help us to new in the live cells and uh, many experiments like the time lapse analysis for the enzyme activity can be done and even the effect and the impact of this activity in the cells which are migrating can also be studied by using in situ zymography so uh, this was the reference of the methods which were developed uh, which we had studied today on the mmp protein uh, so i wish you a very happy learning Thank you.